Okay, hey guys, what the motherfuck is up? I have so much fucking goddamn shit to tell you guys about. It is absolutely ridiculous and asinine. So, like, if you're offended and over every little goddamn thing, if you're a weak little piece of shit, if you're a delicate flower, this is not the channel for you. I don't give a fuck what any fucking retards and newbies have to say. Um, if y'all don't like what I have to say in my delivery, I don't give a fuck. Like, this is my goddamn channel. And if you say something, if you come for me in any capacity, if you call me a cunt, whatever the word is, whatever the statement is, not only will I defend myself, but you will be blocked if it's, like, absolutely asinine, like, ridiculous. Like, some dumb, like, and basically what I mean by that is some dumb, the dumb fucks say I'm on drugs, bitch. Like, I would pass a drug test like there's no tomorrow. Would you? Would you? I don't think you would. It sounds like your projection. I would, I take supplements because I'm vegan. I absolutely do. I absolutely fucking do. Yes, because I'm vegan. I do take supplements. Absolutely. But I have never, ever taken a drug unless it's subscribed to me. Back in the day, I mean, that was debatable. Okay? That, that was debatable, too, back in the day. So fuck you, okay, first of all. So, and Alex has gotten the same comment, I know she has, she's talked about it before, so she, but like, it's because of our delivery. We're very out there, we, we don't, we're not offended over every little goddamn thing like you retards out there. We're, we, we, we're not retards, we live in a real world, we live in the real world, we're not, we don't live in a clown world, okay, this is the real world, like right is right, left is left, the sky is blue, like, we know this, these are basic facts, like, I'll tear my mom and Alex, like, these are facts. And like, there's other people, we know this, and I love Riley more than I love humans, like, we know this, right? Just as equally as my mom and Taylor, honestly, and my girl. So anyway, so we are going to talk about the, um, oh my god, this is, you guys are so fucking stupid. So, yeah, we're going to talk about the attempt at assassination on Trump, okay? And I don't give a fuck if you love him or hate him. I don't give a goddamn motherfucking shit if you like him or hate him. That's not what this is about, okay? This is about basic, decent, human decency at this point, okay? It's about right and wrong. We know that trying to assassinate someone is wrong, okay? To the, no matter what, no matter what. I don't give a fuck what you say, no matter what. Especially the president, the president of the United States of America, or few, former president or current, it does not matter, okay? I don't give a good goddamn, okay? It is asinine, it is uncalled for, there is no excuse whatsoever. So, okay, this is the goddamn thing. Okay, so again, my FBI friend, who can find out anything about you retards out there, by the way, how's the Discord chat going with me, with y'all talking about me? Hey y'all, what's up, what's good, what's good? If you keep it up, bitches out there, I know someone who can find out everything about you. And this person, what did I, I'm gonna name this, I'm gonna give this person a general, gender, gender neutral name. Taylor, for example, right? Hello? Taylor can be a boy or a girl, right? So you'll never know. You'll never know. And I'll never say this person's real name anyways. Um, this person used to work for the FBI, okay? This person can find out anything about you, your family, they can find out your social security number. It doesn't matter. They can find out anything about you. Okay, anything about you. And this person has connections with a lot of other people. I am not the person you want to fuck with. I am not the person you want to fuck with, you want to mess around with. I am not the person, okay? I know a lot. Oh my gosh, Taylor's still playing. I am not the person you want to fuck with. Actually, Jesse James. You guys know who Jesse James Decker is? You guys, if you don't know the song, you're like, you're just a retard. But like, it's such a bop. It's such a bop. Okay. But yeah, I am the person you don't want to fuck with. Trust me. I know people who know people who know people who know people, okay? That's how I'm going to, I'm going to leave it there. Like, you guys think you're so anonymous online. My, this person, Taylor, can, like, find out no matter who you guys are. Even if you're trying to be anonymous, Taylor can find out who you are. In fact, the other day, when we were talking to this person on the phone, Taylor was saying that they were, like, Taylor was on another website that we, like, as a general public, do not have access to about, like, politics and stuff. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that because I'm not trying to get this person in trouble. Even though they have, they have nothing to hide and they're being monitored all day every day. They know that. So are we, you fucking retards. Um, and I don't have to hide, so who cares? Um, so I don't care that I'm being tracked. I don't care. It's, it's life. That, who cares? It's, it is what it is. Like, do you have an issue with that? You probably do. That's your own life issue, not mine. I don't give a fuck. But yeah, like, so that's that. And like, again, Taylor is smart. And you know what Taylor said about me when we were on a lunch date? Taylor said that I am wise beyond my years. And to come from on, coming from someone who's worked for the FBI, who's heard and seen it all, that meant more, that's probably the best and biggest comment I've ever heard in my entire life. Like that right there, because I'm very logical, I'm very smart. You guys think I'm like a dumb fuck or a dumb blonde or whatever, like I'm very, very smart. I'm a, I, I, I care a lot about like, people I love and like, I'm very like, I don't even give people like Freud is, but I care a lot about the politics, I care a lot about shit like that, I really do. And like there's all other stuff, like mundane stuff that I'm like, never, and I care about like, well-being of people, like, not necessarily everybody, but, like, a lot of people that I love and care for, like, a lot, right? And, like, unless you're a saint, you have no room to come for me, any, me or anyone else I love and care for, okay? So, it's come for me, Taylor, Swift, in this case, like, I don't, and anyone else I love and care for or stand or whatever. Like, you guys can shut the fuck up. I've had enough to hear with you retards, okay? So, yeah, like, anyway, so the assassination or attempted assassination on Trump. So, speaking of, no, okay, so here we go. So... My damn question is, where the fuck was the SS? 
Where the fuck was the SS? Why were they not at eye level with Trump? Why did it seem like they were low to the ground and they came out of fucking nowhere? I don't fucking know. That's the that's their first wrong mistake. The second wrong mistake is the FBI or whatever, or SS, has to go, probably, maybe make sure both, who the fuck knows, we don't know, right? Has to go to wherever the president, former or current president, is going to be and they have to pinpoint targets where the president could get injured or worse, okay? That is like a known, th I don't know if it's a known thing, but that's what they do. That's what Taylor said about the FBI bestie of mine. That is what they said, and Candace Owens said it in her, like, video the other day. And I, so I, I, I believe them over the general media any day. So, um, like, that, where, where, where was the SS? Why was the SS not at eye level with Trump? The, like, essentially, like, guarding him back. That is my question, okay? The second question is, if they were told, and this wasn't set up, I don't know if it was set up or not, who knows, I, I thought it was for a couple days, but then I'm like, what if it wasn't at the same time? You know, like, who the fuck knows? Because there's weird fucks everywhere, as we know, and sick fucks and stupid fucks and dumb fucks everywhere. Now, this person, I bet you that person who shot him, the ugly fucking weirdo, was probably, like, got seven jabs, like, was pro, like, I don't know, Israel and Palestine hated America, like, that was the type of, who loved tips, who loved everybody, like, that was the type of person, right? And they were an individualist, right? So, my goddamn thing was, where, again, where was the SS? Why was the SS not at eye level with Trump? That is the whole thing that I have, like, seen not many people think about. And I even said this to my man the other day on FaceTime. <laughs> like, what did I name him? I think I named him Jacob or whatever. And, like, I love keeping my, like, relationship stuff private because, like, yeah, he means a lot to me. But, like, you fuckers will never know who the fuck he is. Absolutely not. Like, absolutely not. Like, yeah, my close friends do on Snapchat and stuff. Like, absolutely they do. I posted them on there. Absolutely. And, like, my fin site. Absolutely I have. But, like, for the rest of the weirdo fucks out there, you guys will never know who he is. So, yeah, I was talking about him that the other day on Facebook. And he was like, yeah, that's a good point. And I'm like, I know it's a good goddamn point because... I don't understand how that can happen, especially, especially when the FBI and SS, maybe it's a mixture of both, who knows, or and or, right, or both, goes to, and first of all, why was not, why was it not enclosed? Why was it not in an enclosed building that was sh roofed, okay? Why not? This is, okay, this is the thing. Trump, he is... A controversial figure, okay? If you wanna, if you're a weak piece of shit, he's a controversial figure because of his mean fucking tweets. Boo fucking who, bitch. Um, and he's already not well liked by a lot of people, right? Like, let's call a spade a spade here. Not even like some, there's Republicans that don't even like him, okay? I don't know why, but whatever. They're dumb and shit and whatever. They're dumb as fuck. And so, like, I. I will never go to a rally, and I've thought about it. I have thought about it. Actually, no, I haven't. <laughs> to be honest, no, I haven't. But, like, I will never go to one now because of what just happened. Um, a lot from the comfort of my own home because the debates were a mess. Um, and, like, from Biden's standpoint, or Biden's son, obviously, because this is the thing. This is the thing, like Alex has said numerous times. We need someone who has done more than politics. We need a businessman. We do. We do. It is true. Because if you're all in politics, that's just going to fuck the country up. Look at Biden. Look at Biden. Look at Obama. Okay? Look at Biden Obama. Okay? They f not as bad. As, no one is as bad as Biden. Okay? We know that. But, like, still. Like, I... We need a change, obviously. We need Trump back. Like, make America again. I don't give a fuck what any fucking retards have to say. We're going to need to that shit. Okay? So, for the fucking retards who are coming from me, who the fuck... Actually, it's mainly the newbies. I bet you mainly the newbies who are saying this. Who the fuck do you think Taylor Swift, meaning, dad votes for? Taylor's dad is not, not, not a Democrat, you fucking retards. He is a Republican, okay? This is a known thing. This isn't anything new. If you're, but if you've been around the block for more than five years, you know that, but you're not. You're a newbie, so you don't know this. Taylor's dad is not a Democrat, okay? He's not. Her, Andrea is. Taylor's mom is a Democrat. Yeah, she is. Her dad on the other hand is not, is not, is not. And I knew newbies are going to throw a fucking hissy fit over that, bitch. But it's the damn truth, bitch. It is the damn fucking truth, okay? So, take it up with him. If you're fucking bitching about me of saying a certain slogan that Republicans say, fuck off, okay? Fuck off, especially if you're so and go check it up with Taylor's dad. If you're gonna, and you better not have any Republican friends or family members, and you better exile them from your life if that's the case. And you better be a complete saint if you're gonna come for me in any way, shape, or form, okay? Especially when it comes to politics, but especially when it comes to damn politics. I have changed a lot. I have learned a lot. I've, I, and I have, I have. From Alex, from self-teaching myself about politics overall. The past couple years, especially COVID. Like, COVID really, really woke me up. Like, COVID made me go vegan. I don't know if COVID made me go vegan necessarily, but like, it made me dabble, right? 
And like I, if you were to tell me 10 years ago you'd be vegan and 10 years ahead of you, I'd be like, what the fuck, bitch, are you lying? Like I didn't even know what veganism was 10 years ago because veganism is not popular in my family, it's not popular around my friends, like it's just not. It's not, yeah, not even popular in the world. Like what was it, like one to three percent of people are vegan in the world? Like it's not a lot of people, right? At all. So yeah, like, and I do it for the animals and I do it for other reasons too. I'm not gonna say why right in here, but like, yeah. I love animals more than other humans, as we know, um, clearly. And yeah, like, animal rights before humans, right, as we all know here. So, yeah, like, it's American decay at this point. American decay trying to assassinate Trump. It's literally American decay. Um, it was literally history. Like, we literally went into history. And I feel like people aren't making a big deal about it as they should be. Because if it was Biden, people would flip shit. Like, it'd be all over the headlines, all over the tabloids. Everyone would freak out over it. Like, it'd be all over the magazines, the stands, even though no one who reads magazines anymore. I mean, I say that as if I don't have these. But, like, these are from the store. Um, but they're like, I, I'm a realist. I think that's what it is. So I don't, I don't care about, like, the new Twister movie. I don't, I, I'm a realist. So I look at things from a very logical and like real standpoint. I'm not like, oh my God, the sky is blue. Like, let's go walking today. Like, oh, the weather's nice. It's not gonna rain, let's go. Like, if it's gonna rain, I'm obviously not gonna go. Like the weather is like a factor, but it's not like the main thing. Like, how do I, how does my vibe feel? How does my mood feel? Do I wanna walk today or do I not wanna walk today, right? So like, I, 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 I will never understand like how, even if you're the farthest, the farthest Democrat could be, how you could think that the attempt at assassination on Trump was a positive. Like, I, if, and if you do, you're demented. There's something fucking wrong with you. There is something wrong with you. And you probably, you have, probably have like all the fucking jabs in the world. You, you, you're the type of person who like is pro tip, pro good bad, or pro every veteran instead of being just pro good veteran. Like, I, that's what I bet you. That's how you are. Um, and you expect people to open doors for you and like tip and like all this other shit, right? That, that, that you have for a lot of friends and you, like that, that. That's you. That's you. You're a newbie and you act like you've been here forever, but you're not because you're a newbie. That is you. If you like think that like essentially almost trying to kill Trump, the former president is a good thing. Um, and like I like you guys know I follow a lot of like conservative media, obviously, like duh, duh, okay, because I'm not a retard and we don't live in a clown world, we live in the real world. Um, and even like Kitson, who I love is like a small business in LA, like I follow them, like I love them. And like they were talking about it and like it's just not right, no matter what way you look at it. And if you think it is, there's something fucking wrong with you. Because, like, how would you feel if that was your loved one? Or if it was you yourself? How would you feel if it was you or someone you loved and cared for a lot? Your family member. Your closest best friend. How'd you feel about it then? you feel about it then? You what? You'd be pissed. You'd be upset. You'd be angry. You'd be mad. You'd be so devastated over that. Right? Would you not? Would you not? Like, I... I... I again, love him or hate him, I don't care. I... Okay. Again. I don't give a fuck about Trump or Biden. I don't like either of them. I, I do like one more than the other, obviously. I think we know that here. But, like, Trump is a way better candidate than Biden. Okay, four years ago, I disagree with that statement right there. But, like I said, after realizing and learning more and, like, COVID waking me up, essentially, like, it taught me a lot, right? And, like, I don't think you need to be a retard in order to see the shit. But, like, one of my mom's, like, closest friends said, like, true believers see. And it's so fucking true. Like, only true believers really see the shit that's going on. And no, it's not Taylor. I'm talking about another person. True believers see. And I think that's so true. Like, it's right in front of your eyes. You you just need to, you, you don't even need to wake up because you, you don't need to be waking up because you already just see it naturally, right? So there's no, be, there's no need to be woken up because you just, you don't see to begin with. Otherwise, you wouldn't have had, you wouldn't have had to be woken up if you already saw it to begin with. Um, and another thing is, like, and it kind of, like, piggy off of that, like, People don't care unless it directly affects them. So, like, even, like, I was watching Liberty Hangout with Caitlin Bennett, too. And, like, she was, like, interviewing these people, right? And, like, this one girl was like, no, I don't care. Like, essentially, like, I don't care. Like, so not thought about it. Like, how, but then, like, how would you feel like if it was your closest friend? Your family member. Your dog. God forbid, right? But dogs, right? Your dog. Your pet. Your pet. Your pet. How would you feel about it then? Your boyfriend. How would you feel? Your girlfriend. How would you feel about it then? You'd be pissed. You'd be fucking livid, bitch. You would fucking livid. And it just mind boggles me that people are not. And it's really sad. It's really fucking sad, actually. It's really sad. Okay. So, what else? Start to yell at you guys about because you guys are so fucking dumb. Yeah, you recharge in the discard. What's good? I'm not the bitch you want to fuck with. That's true. Relationships are a waste of time unless you're not going to get married. If you want to get married, obviously. Like, they are. Like, they really are. Like, I... This is the thing. Like, why be in a relationship if you plan to get married and you're just not? like making steps towards getting married. Like what's the point? Actually in general, like if you're gonna break up with someone, what's the point of being with them? Like, I think it's cause I've been single my whole life. That's all I've ever known, right? Like, w w literally what's the point? Like, what is the point? Like, 
Lo uh, again, I'm a logic person. Like, logically, that does not compute in my brain. Like, if you're gonna break up, why, why date them to begin with? Why, like, even entertain the idea of dating to begin with? Like, what's the point? Like, I, I, I will never understand. Like, I'm not saying you have to get married tomorrow by any means, but like, you should be, if you want that, you should be making stuff towards it. Again, do what you want, it's a free ass country, you can do whatever you want, leave everybody alone, shut the fuck up, that's my motto. Like, you can do you, I'm gonna do me, as long as it doesn't hurt or harm anyone else, like, do whatever the fuck you want, right? Like, do whatever the fuck you want. I'm gonna vote for a fucking green-haired liberal, you can do that. I don't give a fuck, I don't care. I would never do that, but you're right, you're right, you can do that. And, like, that's what, like, I don't, like, again, if you're, you have to be a complete state to come for me, and you're not. Unless you're a newborn, and newborns can't talk, so they don't know anything, so... Yeah, like, you can't, like, you're dumb as shit if you're gonna come from here, or anyone else I love and care about, okay? You're just a retard. Um, and I know a lot more than you out there, I do, I do. Um, may not come across that way, but I love to trick people. I love to trick people who think that I'm like a dumb blonde or whatever. I love that, because as soon as I open my mouth, it's fucking information overload, and you cannot compute in your brain, because I talk so fast, and I, I talk a mile a minute, but I talk real, bitch, and real knows real, bitch. So the fucking haters and the trolls and the fucking ugly retards coming for me, it's because you're ugly, fat, stupid, worthless, and woke. That's the damn truth. That's the damn truth. Focus on yourself. Make sure you're complete same before you come for me. Show me your bank statements, your tax returns. I want to see all of it, bitch, before you come for me. Unless it's all 100% in check, you have no wrong to come for me. You're anyone else I love and care for, okay? That's the damn truth, bitch. So it's not coming for me, Taylor, Alex, Jenna, everyone else I love and care for. Period, bitch. Period, bitch. Period, bitch. And then you have all your shit together, and you're a 10 out of 10 in every capacity in life, and you're a saint. You have no wrong reason to come for me, bitch. So shut the fuck up, okay? Fix your own damn stuff. If you're a pound fatter than me, you automatically lost. Go lose some weight, bitch. Focus. Call Oprah. Maybe she'll give you a discount for a Weight Watchers. I don't fucking know. If you're woke, fix your politics. If you're ugly, fix your face. Like, these are basic steps. Basic steps. They don't have to cost a lot of money, okay? They don't have to. But I'm not giving you free advice. So, figure it out your damn self. Worry about your own damn life and your own damn kids if you have them. And shut the fuck up. And leave everybody alone. And shut up and do you. Period, bitch. End of story. End of story. Don't come here if you're a weak piece of shit and you're a delicate flower. This is not the channel for you. This is my page. If you're gonna call me a cunt or whatever, a bitch, whatever, you're gonna get blocked. You're just gonna get blocked. That is what it is. If you're gonna make a nasty, snarky comment about me doing drugs, you're gonna get blocked. You're done. You're gone. Get the fuck out of here. I don't give people third time, 100 chances. I don't. I don't. Oh, it's a one strike and you're out here on my channel. On my channel, bitch, with my credentials. Okay, not yours. If you want to start your own channel, bitch, about whatever the fuck you want to bitch about, you may do that. You're not going to do it on my channel, bitch. You're not going to spew your shit. You're, you're not going to project your own issues onto me, bitch. It's not going to happen. I will defend myself to the very fucking end. I will. Okay, I will be 99 so defending myself doing this shit. I don't give a fuck, okay? And if need be, if need be, I will call Taylor, my FBI bestie, and have this person look more into you. I absolutely will if I have to. I will. And again, this person can find out everything about you. Everything about you. Everything about you. If you try to be anonymous online. Doesn't matter. This person can anything about you, okay? So, quit fucking with me, you fucking retards out there. I have this person's number, Taylor's number. Message this person whenever I want. They even said it. So shut the fuck up. Shut up. Shut up. I'm not the person you want to fuck with. Trust me, I'm not. And again, this person, Taylor, knows people that know people that know people, and it never ends, right? It never ends. So, this person didn't just work for the FBI. They know people. I've talked to the FBI, and so do I. So do I. So do I. So trust me, bitch. I'm not the person you want to fuck with. So get the fuck out of here, bitch. Get the fuck off my channel. You do not belong here. If you're a weak piece of shit, if you're woke, ugly, fat, super worthless, and woke, you don't belong on this damn channel, bitch. You don't. You don't. So shut the fuck up, bitch. Okay? Okay. Let me defend myself for the fucking numpteenth time, okay? So yeah. Um, American Decay, that's so true. Yeah, hi, Tina. How's your divorce going? How's your divorce going? Tina from Tennessee. How's your divorce going? We love the alliteration, don't we? But how's that going? How's it going? How's it going? Yeah. Anyways. Oh, yeah, I would love to know. I, I, I always forget to mention this. But I, I, I would love to know the people who actually, the statistics of the people who actually click on YouTube ads. Because I've been getting them so much more than usual, I feel like. I would love to know the people that actually click on the ads and buy something or whatever. I would love to know the statistics. Because I very, very, can pretty much guarantee you and assure you that it's, like, probably slump to none. Slump to none. Because for the most part, for the overall percentage of people that watch YouTube videos and have ads, I bet you majority of them do not click on the ad. I bet majority of them do not. Do not. So, like, what's the point of the ads? Like, these YouTubers are rich enough. YouTube as a platform is rich. Why do we still have ads? 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 So the YouTubers can get paid? That's what sponsorships are for. And again, I just fast forward that to you, like, usually. So, like, well, why is there ads? And again, YouTube is a billion, multi-billion dollar industry, company, whatever you want it is. So, what's the point? Like, what, why is there ads? I, don't, I will never understand. Like, that's what movie charges are for. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm a realist. 
I know I am, but like, what the fuck? What the fuck? I don't know, it makes no goddamn sense. Um, because I have a majority of, but yeah, majority of the people with a brain do not click on the ads. If you're a retard, then yeah, you're gonna click on the ads. Or if you're a woke, fuck yeah, you're gonna click on the ads. But majority of people with brains do not, okay? Okay, it's a damn truth, bitch. Um, oh yeah, real ones remember when Cruel Summer was the hidden gem of the Lover album. Yeah, that's true. And underrated at one point. If you were here longer than five seconds, no, you know that. That's so damn true. Oh yeah, Terror, okay, this is the thing. Terror, ter with you want, with all the newbies and the retards, who want Terror to get into politics, okay. For the umpteenth time, Taylor is a musician, not a politician. If you want um, a politician, then go follow politicians, bitch. Go follow politicians, bitch. We obviously know where Taylor stands politically, and she's allowed to have the right, absolutely she is. But Taylor's not like a far left, a stupid Democrat, right? She's not. She's like a Democrat, obviously, but I think Taylor's a lot more conservative than she like to leave on. I do. She believes, she wants a family, okay? That's like the most conservative you can get, like, right? Like, let's just be honest here. But like I, 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 I just can't do it anymore. I, I, the newbies have infiltrated everything. They're all over TikTok. They're all over Twitter. They're everywhere now. They have ruined everything. They've ruined the music industry. They have ruined not just newbies, but like in general. Like newbies have ruined everything in general. And like I, I can't do it. Like Taylor again. Taylor is a musician, not a politician. Go follow Kamala Harris if you care about politics so much. And you better be bitching to your family members about this too. And you better be doing shit to, like, help it out yourself. You better be donating to every cause. You better be doing X, Y, and Z. If not, I don't want to hear a shit. And you coming, you trying to come for Taylor. Like, and again, what is she going to say or do that we haven't heard, already heard a million times before? She can donate, but so are other other people. So a lot of other people. I'm not. I'm not. I absolutely will not. Because I'm a nationalist, bitch. I am an absolute nationalist. I care about the U.S. and the U.S. first, bitch. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I care about Europe because I love France and I love Italy. And I care about, like, Canada kind of sort because they kind of sort of border us. But for the most part, like, I, I, I'm a nationalist. I'm absolutely a nationalist, bitch. I absolutely fucking am. Absolutely am. Forever and always, bitch. I am a nationalist. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, like, I... I just can't. Like, I, I can't. I, I just can't do it anymore. I literally can't. You fucking retards. Oh, here we go. So this is another thing that has been really pissing me off, too. For the retards and the newbies who don't get it. So... For the newbies and the retards out there, Taylor has naturally cur curly hair as well as I, I do. As well as I. As well as I. Right? As well as I. So if you're doing something, specifically being active and singing and dancing for three and a half hours, your hair is going to get naturally curly because your hair is naturally curly. So for the retards who are like, back in this head, it doesn't have as much because Taylor figured out a way to probably make the newbie shut the fuck up because her hair is a lot more straight now than it used to be like eight months ago, right? The fuck is that? I thought it was a bug. Um, yeah. Like, it's going to get naturally curly because her hair is naturally curly as she's singing, as she's being active. That's what happens. You fucking retards. Like, it's not like she's just walking. Because usually when I walk, my hair doesn't really get that curly, usually. So, shut the fuck up. You fucking retards. Like, that's what fucking happens. That is what happens to your hair if you have naturally curly hair. And you are active, it gets naturally curly because that's naturally curly. God, I can't. Like, I can't. I can't. People have no brains. People cannot use their logic. And I need to be a logician for everything. I swear to God, I need to be a logician for everything. Because I'm going to have the perfect life. I don't want to have the perfect life to listen to me and check my advice. I'd be the best logician ever. I really would be. I really would be. Like, I don't know if it's like, whatever it is, I'm not going to give people free ideas. But like, I don't know if it's a jab. There's a lot of things that I was thinking of, but I'm not going to say what they are. To give people free ideas, but like, yeah, you fucking retards. Like, this world is so screwed. This world is so fucking screwed. And it's really sad. Like, it's actually really sad. Like... And, oh my god, they had a Folklore restock of the cardigan today, but it looks kind of new, kind of sorta. Um, like, kind of sorta, it does, right? Yeah, like, I don't know, is it, what do we think, guys? What do we think? What do we think? Hold on. What do we think? Like, this is like the only one that I don't have, but like, is it like a necessarily a first priority? I don't think it is at this point. Like, it's cute and I love it, obviously, but like, I don't know. Oh yeah, Archer and Folklore Anniversary. Yeah, the Archer Anniversary was Tuesday and then it's, not, it's gonna stop. Yeah, and then, yeah, so Archer Anniversary was, Archer's Anniversary was Tuesday, right? And then Folklore Anniversary was yesterday, Wednesday. I know, right? What the fuck, guys? Like, only a year apart. That's weird to think about. They're literally only a year apart. That's so weird to think about. Wow. The Archer was, Lover Era was just so different, though. It was just such a different time to be a 50. Like, such a different time.
like the lack of newbies like there wasn't I'm sure there was a few but there's not definitely wasn't there as much as there is now and even the newbies back then weren't as obnoxious and irritating and like made me irate as they do now um because they weren't that bad like the newbies in the lover era were not that bad at all they were not this obnoxious they didn't think probably because a lot of them were OGs they just grew up with Taylor and just love her like love her was like the actual um that brought them like into the fandom if that makes sense um but like it's just they've infiltrated everything and it's really really sad it's really sad because like there were just certain things you had to be there for and if you weren't you just missed out like like for example like oh geez we've been there since the beginning so we we have a familiarity with like the og versions of her music versus their versions right so we grew up on the ogs right especially speaking out for me that's like the most nostalgic album that i have like real like memories of. i've just attached to debut and fearless but like mainly like speaking out onward right like I mean, like I said, I have memories of touching of every album. I do, I do, all the way from W to now. I do, I do, right? But like, Holy Ground stolen version, we will be streaming that OGs typically versus newbies who will stream the new version, Holy Ground Terrors version, right? Like it is what it is. Like I think that's what it is. Like OGs will stream the OG if it's botched and fumbled or whatever. Newbies will stream the new version. I think that's what it comes down to. No, no, obviously not. Like, like for example, Haunted got an upgrade. City Grace absolutely got an upgrade. Downgrades. Kind of sort of Wonderland, but say don't we got say don't go. It's the best song out of all time, not of all time, but like about 1989. It's like next to Wonderland. It's the best song, right? I think it's probably close to the best song of all time, but like that title belongs to Cool Summer. It has been for over five years, almost five years, yeah, almost five years now. But yeah, um, yeah, like the low, I feel like okay, so it's kind of like and we're gonna end on like a sad note, more serious note. So when Taylor was like at the very end of the Lover era, or like not even like end of Lover, beginning of the Lover era, I think Taylor thought in her brain that this was the end of it for her. Like she's like, oh my god, I get like I have to get like as close to the younger generation as I can. Like I have to wheel them in. Like hopefully they'll follow me along. And maybe that's what like happened. And that's why like Lover era was what it was. But granted, it was the only era that was cut short. Um, I mean there was a few era, there was a few mainly one home that didn't really have a full proper era that was debut. Um, but like. I don't know. Lover Air was just so different. It was so different. And I miss it a lot. And I just do. It was such a different time. You know? It really was. Like, the lack of newbies. Like, the lack of obnoxiousness from the newbies. I don't even know if obnoxious is in the real world, but I just made it up. But seriously, it was just such a different time back in the day. And it was just like you had to be there. Like I said, there were certain things you just had to be there for. And if you weren't, you missed out. It's a missed opportunity. By the way, my hair color is coming in, so hopefully my hair is going to be like white blonde again because I miss those days it's like more it is like definitely a platinum blonde like my roots are really really coming in yeah or from the store so that's coming in because the other store that I used to get from they stopped selling it so I don't order from my other store so yeah hopefully it's coming in soon um actually it will be here soon hopefully it says my audio hope it's gonna come before then um so yeah you guys I think that's it I think I've covered everything and yelled at you guys about everything I need to tell you guys at um oh no so the other day actually it's not so the other day I think it was Maddie, we went to the store and I had my You Need to Calm Down shirt on. It's very subtle, it doesn't have Taylor's face on it. Her name's on it, but it was like the lightning, it was like in a lightning bolt. Like it's not like as obvious as this, right? So I noticed this other girl was wearing like an Aristo hoodie. She didn't come at me once, she did not. So I knew she was a newbie, that's the thing. Like I feel like if you go, the, if you have Aristo merch, you're a newbie. Like you're, that's how you were classified in my mind, you're just a newbie. Um, and she didn't say, and I've done that before. I've done that with my corner shirt shirt. Not a word was said. Not a word was said. But if I wear stuff with Taylor's face on it, usually people, sometimes people will say stuff. But like, when I wear my little stuff, no one says anything. Like, Gretz did Like, I, I just can't. I can't. I wear my Taylor cap. I wear my Pinky Need to Calm Down shirt. And I wear my snake rings and like my Archer and my wax seal. And again, like, newbies don't know what any of this is. Like, they don't. They know, they haven't, they might know the red ring. If they know anything, they're going to know the red ring. But even that, no one says anything about. So why? Why not newbies? Why not newbies? That's what I want to know. You guys are so fucking irritating. I can't. We need to ban the newbies from every Taylor future Taylor concert. We need to because then oh geez, we we will we will get into the queue. Like the day on Twitter, like some girl was saying that like, and she's so right because it exactly happened to me. Except hers was weekly. Did she get rub tour tickets? I got my rub tour tickets like the second day. The second day they were still available. They were still available because that's when the world was anti Taylor back then. It was just the OGs. It was just OGs like us OGs because like. Back in the day, like, there was, like, no... People were not live streaming every weekend for Taylor. They weren't. They weren't. People, for the most part, didn't have their phones out their whole concert. Some did, yeah, but not really. Like, not really. Um, but yeah, like, I, I just... And, like, I don't know. Like, the older, like, people who don't get it either, you can stay home, too. Like, leave it for, like, uh, OGs and that's it. Like, leave it for the OGs. That, that's it. That's who it should be for. The OGs. If you're trying to buy that, you're, it's because you're a newbie. 
Um, but yeah, like I, I just can't. Like the newbies have ruined everything. Like I said, time and time again, but it's the damn truth. It is, it's true. But yeah, she didn't say anything. She didn't say it worked to me. She didn't compliment my outfit, nothing. Not, not, that, not that I finished her comments because I don't give a fuck what people say, obviously. But like, yeah, like she didn't say a word. She didn't say a word. She had errors to her. It was errors to a hoodie. It was errors to a hoodie. But not a word was said. Not a word was said to me, bitch. Not a word was said to me. Because you guessed that she's 99.99% .99 probably a newbie. That's that's the only conclusion I can come to. Because if you would have known, if you were a true Sifty and an OG, you would you would have known what my shirt was saying. You would have known. You would have knew. You would have knew. You would have known. You would have known. You definitely would have known. But she didn't. You would have known what this meant. You would have known what this came from. But you don't. Because you weren't here for that. So, yeah. Like, I was telling, like, Jacob on the phone, like, there was, like, two Sifties in my high school. Two Sifties. That was it. No one talked about her. Not a soul. Not a soul. Not even in passing I heard someone say each other's name. Never. Never. Not even a song. Not a lyric. Nothing. Nothing, bitch. Nothing. No, everyone loves her. Everyone fucking loves her now. But where were y'all five years ago? Ten years ago? Thirteen years ago? Where were y'all? Where were y'all? Because y'all were not here. Y'all were not here. You know, and it's really, really sad. It's really sad. I can't. I can't believe it. Is that it, you guys? Did I cover everything so I can face some of my man back? Um, I think that is it, you guys. I love you guys so much. That is everything, you guys. Love you guys so much. Unless you're a retarder, woke fuck out there. I love you guys. And yeah, love you guys. Bye.